हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक आर टूडेज टॉपिक इज मैंसुरेशन एज वी नो मैंसुरेशन इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फॉर ऑल काइंड ऑफ कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स रिलेटेड बी बैंक एस एस सी रेलवे यू पी एस सी सीज आर्ट एंड प्लेसमेंट ट्रेनिंग इन ऑल द एग्जाम्स यू कैन फाइंड क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द मैंसुरेशन एंड इफ यू आर राइटिंग रेलवे आर द एस एस सी एग्जाम देन मैंसुरेशन प्ले इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल इन योर एग्जामिनेशन बिकॉज मोर देन फाइव टू सिक्स क्वेश्चन विल बी आस्ट फ्रॉम द मैंसुरेशन सो फ्रेंड्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न इन आर टूडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न इंस्क्राइब एंड सरकम स्क्राइब वेर circle will be inside and outside the square so friends let's try to solve question number 1 and we will understand the concept here so a circle is inscribed in a square of side 54 cm and another circle circum inscribes the same square then the ratio of circumferences of bigger circle to the smaller circle okay now friends you have a square here so a square all the four sides will be A square, all the four sides will be equal, and there is a one circle inside. So one circle inside means there is something like that, okay? And one circle outside means this is something, or uh, or like that. So one is inscribed and one is circumscribed. Okay, friends. Now, friends, a circle is inscribed in a square of side fifty-four centimeter. So friends, side of a square is given. so all the four sides of a square will be equal so here it is 54 here it is 54 cm okay and another circle circum circum inscribes the same square then the ratio of circumferences of the bigger circle to the smaller circle okay friends now so friends let r1 and r2 so here i can write let r1 and r2 be the radii of be the radii of inscribed inscribed and circum inscribed circum inscribed okay now friends so this is our smaller circle so this radius so this radius we will assume as this radius will assume as r1 and this is our bigger circle so this radius will be what friends so this radius will be nothing but uh, this one this radius will be nothing but this one okay so this one now friends R1 will become R1 will become 54 by 2, which is nothing but which is nothing but 27, which is nothing but 27 centimeter. Right, friends? R1 will become nothing but R1 will become nothing but 54 divided by 2 because the side of the square is 54. Now, friends, let's calculate R2. So, friends, R2 if you will see that will be nothing but half of diagonal. So, a square will have a diagonal. So, friends, you can see. This will be nothing but a square of diagonal, okay? And radius, if you are able to see, this is nothing but half of diagonal here. So friends, my R two will become. So friends, my R two will become diagonal by two, diagonal by two, diagonal by two, okay? And now, so friends, what is diagonal of a square? So diagonal of a square will be nothing but friends. So see, if this is a, this is a, this is a, this is a. So diagonal will be nothing but we will be using Pythagoras theorem. So a square plus a square, which is nothing but 2a square under square root, so it will be square root of 2a. So diagonal will become square root of 2a. Okay, friends. So square root of 2a divided by 2. So what is my a here, friends? 54. So 54 root 2 divided by 2. Okay, and this is also 27 root 2. Now, friends, I got r1 and I got r2. So what has been asked? Then the ratio of circumferences of the bigger circle to the smaller circle. So friends, bigger circle, bigger circle circumference will be nothing but two pi, two pi r two, and the smaller circle circumference will be two pi r one. So two pi and two pi will get cancelled. So r two. So what is r two? Twenty seven root two, and what is r one? Twenty seven. So friends, root two is to one. So root two is to one will be nothing but the ratio of circumferences of bigger circle to the smaller circle. So this question was one of the very important and interesting question which we have solved it here. Now friends, moving towards the next question. Now friends, question number two is a very important question and let's see how we are solving it. So a circle is circumscribed around a square as shown in figure. So this is the figure. The area of one of the four sided portion equal to four by seven. the radius of the circle we have to calculate okay friends so now let's assume the side of a square the side of a square is nothing but a and the radius of circle and the radius of circle is r 
side of a square is a and the radius of circle is r friends okay now friends what we will do we will calculate the diagonal of the square so friends diagonal of the square will be what so this will be nothing but the diagonal of the square and friends if you see this will be nothing but the radius of circle okay so this is what our r is okay now friends i can say diagonal of a square diagonal of a square will be equal to 2r diagonal of a square will be equal to 2r here and diagonal of a square also we also know diagonal of a square is nothing but a square root of 2a square root of 2 into side so friends i can say a square root of 2a is equal to 2 of r then a will be equal to friends 2r by square root of 2 now a square root of 2 will divide this by square root of 2 times so a will become a square root of 2r so this we got the relation in terms of in terms of uh, side and radius now friends what they are telling the area of one of the four shaded portion equal to so friends basically here area is what so area of shaded portion will be nothing but uh, area of circle area of circle minus area of minus area of a square minus area of a square so if you subtract you will be getting you will be getting all the shaded region area but here they are asking only they have given only area of one of the four shaded that means this is four parts so one by four will have to divide it one by four will have to divide it so one by four into pi r square so friends if we we'll talk about r then let it be like that only we will see later okay area of a square will be in terms of diagonal so area of a square in terms of diagonal area of a square in terms of diagonal will be friends equal to equal to 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 into diagonal square 1 by 2 into diagonal square will be will be the area of a square in terms of diagonal okay friends now so friends what we will do so what is the area what is the diagonal here friends so diagonal is nothing but a square root of root 2 a and a is equal to a square root of 2 r so we have got already the side so no need to write in terms of no need to write in terms of diagonal friends because already we have got the side so a square root of 2 r a square if the side was not given then we would have calculated in terms of diagonal now so friends 1 by 2 into we can see here pi a square root of 2 square will be 2 and r square i will take common and r square i will take common and this is area of the 1 by 4th of the shaded portion and this is given by 4 by 7 4 by 7 okay friends now so friends we can see here 1 by 4 so this will go that side so 4 into 4 will become 16 so pi is nothing but 22 by 7 minus 2 r square is equals to 16 by 7 cross multiplication now friends so 7 into 2 if we we'll take lcm 14 22 minus 14 will be 8 by 7 is equals to uh, 16 by 7 and here r square is there and here r square is there so friends 8 will divide this by 2 times 7 and 7 will get cancelled so r square is equals to 2 so r will become root 2 that means friends the radius the radius of the circle which we have asked to calculate is nothing but a square root of 2 and friends both the question for the today's session were very important so i hope you would have understood the concept behind the question thanks a lot for watching the video